All right, guys, so I'm going to walk you guys through your um, syllabus and your course calendar quickly. So oh, oh, go ahead and open those documents and save them for me. Um, you can follow along as I kind of walk you through all this information. This is important. You guys are going to have a quiz over this in just a few minutes. So uh, make sure you do get all of this um, information absorbed. So if you need my email, my email is right here. It's brittany.estes at my.tccd.edu. Um, our course is going to go from August 31st through December 17th. And basically, American Literature to 865 is a study of different genres, foci, texts. Um, we're doing some critical research, some um, good analysis, some research methodology, and some scholarly discourse with this. So you guys will be using four main goals here that we're trying to achieve. Uh, critical thinking skills, communication skills, teamwork, and personal responsibility. All of this is hugely successful aspects of um, successful college uh, preparation as well as preparation for any future jobs or things you may be doing. So we have a few learning outcomes right here. You guys can kind of peruse those for yourself. Um, but the course materials, this is what's important. So you guys are going to be needing a few different things. Obviously you'll need access to Blackboard, which if you're watching this, you already have that. Um, you'll need all the appropriate applications and software, which you probably already have, but you'll want to double check just in case. The textbook you guys need is going to be the Norton Anthology of American Lit beginning, beginnings to 1865. So this is going to be, um, there's two volumes that comes that this comes with. This is volumes A and volume B. So make sure you have both. Everything else will be provided by me online. So uh, this is just a little bit about Blackboard. You guys probably already know all this since you are on here. But Blackboard is the means of our communications, the entire means of our communication. So you really need to make sure you understand the ins and outs of Blackboard. Um, if you need some help with it, you can always contact TCC. Uh, they'll help you out. I'll do my best to help walk you through kind of what you need to know, but um, make sure that you do kind of understand Blackboard pretty well. Um, so as far as our course goes, we have four major units. Each one of them has sort of a unit essay. Uh, they're going to be walking through early settlement, enlightenment, romanticism, and then eventually transcendentalism. You'll notice that the first two essays are worth 15, and then the last two essays are worth 20%. I've done this on purpose because um, the first unit and the second unit are both actually three-week units um, in comparison with the last two, which are more extensive. So all of this becomes 70% of your grade. The other 30% comes from things such as quizzes, which will be 10 then writing assignments, weekly blogs, online discussions, all of that together is really one major um, concept. It's kind of different writing uh, techniques and assignments. But to make sure that each one kind of gets its fair due, I split it up into 5% each. But essentially, the writing assignments will account for about 15% of your grade. Um, and then the last is attendance and participation. So we're going to make sure that we're doing all the work, we're participating, we're doing everything we ask you, get the 5%. Your grading skill is right there. Um, if you uh, qualify for an incomplete for whatever reason, which would be a, an extenuating circumstance, this is all the information you need to know. Um, and if we need to do that, that's something that would have to happen by the, by the end of the semester. Um, so essays. So your essays, like I said, you'll have four major essays. Each one is going to be submitted on Blackboard by midnight of the Sunday night that it is due. Um, and I will be saying this over and over and over again, but the link for the essay will close at that point. So everything must be due by midnight on Sunday night of each week, and then the essay is due by midnight of the Sunday of the week that it is due. Um, all essays will be required to have standard one-inch margins, double space, Times New Roman and Arial 12-point uh, font. Uh, standard MLA, you guys will be going over all that, but standard MLA is required. And then do note this. Please note that all essays will, and many of the assignments, will be checked for plagiarism through the Safe Assigned database. So if you've never used this before, you'll learn what that is. Um, late work. Late work will not be accepted because this is a self-paced course to a degree. So I want to make sure that you guys are getting all of your work done early so you have plenty of time in the week to make sure everything is finished and turned in. Uh, your grades, you can track your grades in real time on the Blackboard Gradebook tool. Um, I do my best to keep them updated as regularly as possible so you'll be aware of what your grade is as the uh, semester is progressing. There is not an uh, actual physical attendance in this class, but there is still an attendance policy in place. So any student that misses more than 15% of the cumulative class instruction days can be dropped by the instructor. So make sure that you are aware of this. The attendance policy is right there. And the withdrawal policy as well. So all, it's, all the information is right there that you need to know. 
um, since you know that the 12th day of class is really the last ad drop date. So um, participation, like I said, participation constitutes the regular completion of all of your assignments, whether they're individual or group-based. Um, and then I do expect you to regularly check in with me, um, complete all of the scheduled material. I've given you some important class dates here. Um, some of them don't really apply to us simply because we don't meet in person, but essentially we begin August 31st, your ad drop is September 14th, Thanksgiving break will be the 26th to 29th, and then the finals, the final final day of finals week um, will be December 17th. Um, the academic dishonesty is something I really want to draw your guys' attention to. Not that any of you are even thinking about this, but um, I do want to make sure that it is clear that anyone who plagiarizes any assignment can receive a possible failing grade on the assignment, can be subject to the failure of the course, and you can even face um, suspension or expulsion. So please don't do this. This is part of your contract with the college as the college student. Um, it's just not worth it to do it on a three to four page paper to face all of these different things that can happen to you. So please, please, please just don't do it. It will get caught every single time. Um, so as far as what you can expect from me, you can expect emails and, and questions. Anything you ask me can be responded to within 24 hours. Um, all assignments will be returned within two weeks of the original due date. Obviously, the smaller assignment is much faster. This really two-week window is mostly for the uh, major essays. Um, I will have online office hours if you need me. Um, you can request an instant message chat so I can actually chat with you in real time. Um, and then as far as student support services, these are all the services that are available to you guys. So if you need them all, it's all right here. You can go to the website right here. Disability services, if you have a special disability that needs accommodation, all you have to do is go to the DSS and tell them, and they can actually contact me, or you can tell me directly, either way. Um, as far as the technical requirements, you are going to need access for high-speed internet and Firefox, Mozilla, Safari. These are the preferred ones. Um, turn off your pop-up blockers and enable the plugins whenever they're needed. If you have a tablet, some of this works on a tablet, some of it will not. This is just the nature of Blackboard, so please be aware of that. Um, as much as I would love for it all to work on a tablet, it just doesn't all work, so make sure that you are kind of watching that. And then you'll need things like Adobe Reader, Java, and obviously Office Suite um, to make sure things are turned in and, and readable. Um, and then, of course, make sure that you have no spyware and that you are familiar with your TCC and email account and how to use that. Um, if you have technical issues, this is important, there is a 24-7 help desk that you can call. Um, what you should do is if you have a technical issue is you should send an email to me with the time and what the issue is. And if it's possible, send me a screenshot of that specific problem. Um, I can do what I can to try and help you. I'm no technical expert at all, so um, I will probably tell you to try something, and if it doesn't work, go contact the help desk. So they're great, they're wonderful, they can help you with pretty much anything that you need. So that is your syllabus, and I'm going to pull up your calendar now. Um, so your calendar, just one moment, your calendar um, is, is basically uh, four units of three to four weeks each, about four weeks each. So as you can see, the first week we're working on early encounters and settlements. So we're working on the very early um, settlers from Columbus up through basically uh, Win Winthrop, and, uh, or, I'm sorry, John Smith, uh, Winthrop Bradford, and Ann Bradstreet. So all of this will lead to your first essay being due on Sunday, 927. Um, and what you can see is that I've kind of split each unit up into the sort of major figures, as well as, importantly, the marginalized voices. So the voices we don't often get to hear in American Lit. So these are the, the uh, minority voices, these are the female voices, these are the voices that are often silenced by sort of the canonical texts. Um, the second unit we're going to be doing, starting in September 28th, is the Enlightenment unit. So I should note also that when you complete units for me, you will have the whole unit available to you to work in at once. So you can work, you'll work in order, but you can actually work ahead a little bit. Say you're on week one, but you've already finished. You can actually go on and start week two. Um, but everything we do by nine, or everything from that week is due by the Sunday night of that week, but then the papers do 927. I will not open up the second unit until the first morning of the first day of that unit. Um, that's just to make sure that we are all on the same page come start of the next unit. 
So the second unit we're going to be working on is the Enlightenment unit. Um, and this basically is going to work through John Edwards, our founding fathers, um, up through some female voices like Phyllis Wheatley, um, and some, some Native American voices as well. That will be due on Sunday, 1018. The third unit is where we get into romanticism. So you guys will be reading um, probably things you're very familiar with, like Poe, Hawthorne, Melville. Um, and you'll have an entire week there to kind of work on prepping your essay. Uh, and that will be due on Sunday the 22nd. So as you'll notice, uh, this unit right here, the Enlightenment unit, is actually only three weeks. Um, that's so that we could get this unit done, so we can start the Transcendentalism before your, your Thanksgiving break. Um, so we'll start that unit on November 16th through that weekend. Um, and then I'm actually giving you guys all of Thanksgiving off. So I don't want you guys to do any work on Thanksgiving. I don't want to have to do any work on Thanksgiving either. Um, so you guys will actually have that whole week off, no work. When you come back, we'll have two more weeks of work, and then you'll have your final exam week. And we don't, I don't know exactly when that paper will be due, but I will let you guys know as we get closer to it. So that's your calendar and your syllabus. You have a um, quiz that I need you guys to go take. So... Um, use the information you have, use the saved documents, everyone should be getting 100 on this quiz. And if you have any questions about anything on the syllabus or the course calendar, please, please, please feel free to send me an email. Thanks.